Hello and welcome to this introduction to AX and Enterprise Portal tutorial. The video will last about 5 minutes and you will be introduced to the basic features and navigation in AX 2012 Enterprise Portal. Dynamics AX 2012 is Microsoft's Enterprise Resource Planning or ERP software. This means it provides the functions to buy things, sell things, manage projects, manage money and assets, manage people and manage manufacturing and production processes. There are a number of ways to view, add to and control data in Dynamics AX, though normally you will use one of two methods. Enterprise Portal, a web page based interface, or Rich Client, the full featured application front for Dynamics AX. In this video, we'll be looking at Enterprise Portal. Later videos look at the Rich Client application. The first page that you see is the Role Center. This provides you with an overview of information relevant to your role, such as the number and status of relevant documents like sales orders or purchase orders, activities, frequently used links, and key business reports. Each element on the Role Center page is called a web part. These can be added, customized, or removed from the Role Center using the web part drop-down menus. Normally though, this would be a task for your system support team. Common web parts available are queues, key performance indicators, and unified work lists. The helpful stacks of paper displayed here are called queues. They are generated using AX queries. For example, this queue has been configured to count the number of customer invoices using the search condition due date less than today. At a glance, you can tell the amount of outstanding documents to be processed. A unified work list is a group of workflow items, tasks, alerts and activities. Your work list items will appear in bold if you have not viewed or acted on them. To take action, select the item in the list, right click and choose the action from the menu. Key performance indicators are used to display calculations across time. For example, a comparison between last month's open invoice amount and this month's open invoice amount, or changes in exchange rate. Reports and links can also be added to our role centre. The menu on the left provides access to administration functions such as workflow history. This can be used to track the approval of items such as invoices or timesheets. Enterprise Portal can also be used to view general business information or even perform role specific day to day functions. The menu along the top provides access to each module in Dynamics AX. These represent typical departments in a business. If you select Procurement, the first page displayed will contain a list of purchase orders. Using the menu on the left, you can access other purchase related documents and records. For example, lists of requisitions, product receipts, or vendors. On the right, key details about the records may be displayed. For example, the top 10 vendors in the system, or the most recently created purchase orders. Use the action pane tabs and buttons to complete day-to-day -day activities related to the displayed documents. For example, to create a new requisition, select Purchase Requisitions, then Purchase Requisitions prepared by me. Click New Purchase Requisition and a screen will open for you to create the new record. I will cancel this requisition. Likewise, you can use the Project Management module to view a list of all projects. You can view timesheets, sales orders and purchase orders using the menu on the left. While on the right, some of these reports are specific to the selected project, such as pending transactions or project forecast. Again, you can use the Action Pane ribbon at the top of the screen to complete daily activities. For example, you could create a new project. If you have used online shopping or banking, then Enterprise Portal should provide a familiar interface from which you can access powerful Dynamics AX functions. That is all for Enterprise Portal. The next video is getting started with AX.